Mana ya chilele masimu. Amen. Amen. Ni inde mnyani chumba romuri ni tira niro. Uwatu kwaje kura ni tumuzamu ni liganda tuweza. Simwe man. Simwe man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hari gito ndo kimi. Tuzar ni man uda hagara ratu tarewa kumasa. Amen. Nuko tu kiri mnisi, mnisi ni ne ya mahame, ya yu ariko. Mwana tanda nguhari gito ndo kimi tu zabio kado sanga ndro mwana mwa chumu chire. Amen. So harindi ni mzito kui busare roko tu zaba yu. Nukuri iyisi, muri iyisi tuwa kizu na bi muti. Ahanga hasi watu. Tuti juu kuba hano harumundi busima nyuma yu. Amen. Jenza abayo, nawe uzabayo. Tukira kuchia, tumi chua iroko tuzabayo. Yake kutu teguri la hano hesa. Yamuza ngomulgo kwa data hara mazumeishi. Yate zakuwari onarikombi wapi? Amen. Mata ifayo te. Beleza te bwana mokosi Mataifa yote tute kusanyika Beleza te bwana mokosi Mataifa yote tute kusanyika Beleza te bwana mokosi Fiyo mozi wetu wata kusanyika Beleza te bwana mokosi
Kanisa yuko ahanga hadu kandagi. Si watu. Amen. Amen. Umunya ugenge ita kuhire zorje. Ahora ke lavga ngomga mi mga mi nyeza. Nyeza ugra ngomga mi zaki ni hire zorje. Amen. Tutaku sani kambere zawana. Si kuhoja. Tuki imba nyumu za tenzi na zaburi. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tuki zungu ka zungu ka. Kwenye kiti cha enzi. Tuta imba oza. Tuki zungu ka. Tuki zungu ka zungu ka. Kwenye kiti cha enzi. Zungu ka kabisa. Tuki zungu ka.
Haleluya. Haleluya. Igitondo kiza kuri twese. Dushimye Imana ko ari Imana ya mahoro kandi Imana iturinda. Ijambo ry'Imana mu maganya ya Yeremia gatatu gwera kuri 21 aravuga ngo iki nicyo nibuka nibyo bindema umutima. Imbaba zizu witeka nizo zituma tudashiraho uko ibambe rye ritabura. Zihora zunguka uko bukeye. Umurava wawe ni munini. Umutima wanje uravuga kuti uwiteka niwe mugabane wanje nicyo gituma nzajya mwiringira. Amen. Haleluya. Tujya kuvuga ngo imbawa zizimana zivuze wo ya ku mugambi wose w'umwa Satani ku buzima bwawo. Kandi turavuga ngo akwiriye icyubahiro kuko ari we waremye ijuru n'isi kandi ukwitaho bitandukanye no kundi muntu wese wayakwitaho kandi turavuga ngo akwiriye ishimwe no kuramwa ndetse n'imbyino zacu kuko yaduhinduye ibitangaza muri Kristo Yesu data wa twese tugwaye icyubahiro izina ryawe niryo kubahwa kuko uri umwami wabami mwami imana iki gitondo tugiye kukubyinira kuko wavuze ngo oya ku migambi yose y'umwijima kuko wavuze oya ku migambi yose y'umwazi satani kuko wavuze oya ku migambi y'abantu mwami imana tugwaye icyubahiro tugukomeye amashiko kuri imana ibikwiriye kandi ukwiriye ishimwe n'icyubahiro mwizina ryawe Yesu amen
arbres et les fleurs des champs Les pierres crient à toi pour t'adorer Car il n'y a point de Dieu comme toi hey, hey. Qui suis-je pour que tu penses à moi
Aleluya. Ubwo ari wowe wakongera ho iki kuri ibi byabere hano. No mu ijuru ndiko bizabimeze. Azaf nabandi bana bavuye hano imani baho mugisha. Azaf and the drama team may God bless you. Kandi mwese tuzahurira hari. And let us meet in heaven. Turabara mu kije mu izina rya Yesu. We greet you in the name of Jesus. Abaje hano mwese. For all you for all of you who have come here together. Abari mu nzira. And for those who are still on their way. Abatashubikuza. And even for those who are not able to come. Abadukurikira. And for those who are following us. Ari kuri radio. On radio. Ari kuri television. On TV. Ari kuri Facebook. And Facebook. Ari kuri YouTube. And YouTube. Ari no mumuka. And even in spirit, for those who gather from this place, and even for those who do not gather from Zion, even for those who are born again and those who are not yet born again, you're all children of God. And we welcome you in the name of Jesus. As uh, it is our routine, you can greet the person next to you. Sorry. <laughs> so you can greet the person sitting next to you. Uh, when you greet a person as a born again, uh, where is it uh, differentiated munzu, from munzu another person greeting? Person. Where is it? Uh, how is it different from a person greeting another person outside and when it is in the house of God? You should greet them with your whole heart. And you should greet them cheerfully and proclaim good words upon that person. And tell them how they look good. How they are dressed well. And you look like your father. Your father in heaven. And the father has something. He gave me a word for you. Your father gave me a word for you. He greets you. And he knows you and he loves you. So our Father in heaven loves you and sends greetings to you. I told you this is the embassy of heaven. And in the embassy we have rules. And in this embassy, everyone can enter. And no one goes back the same way he came or she came. And every embassy stands for a country. And our country, you know it. So let us first greet the leader of our country. Hallelujah. Thank you. And in every embassy, we have an ambassador. And our ambassador is the Holy Spirit. And let us greet the Holy Spirit. May God bless you. So we are going to pray. We're going to pray with the word that is in Matthew. Matthew chapter 23. Verse 16 to 18. Matthew 23, verse 16 to 18. Matthew 
muzabonishyano mwebwe abavuga muti urahiye urusengero ntacyo urahiye urusengero ntacyo bitwaye ariko ngo urahiye zahabu yo mu rusengero azaba yihohesheje iyo ndahiro arahiye mwa bapfumu mwa mpumyimwe <coughs> ikiruti kindi ni iki ni zahabu cyangwa n'urusengero rwubahiriza izahabu kandi ngo urahiye icaniro ntacyo bitwaye ariko urahiye ituro rikiriho azaba yibohesheje iyo ndahiro arahiye amen 16 says woe unto you you blind guides which say whosoever shall swear by the temple it is nothing but whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple he is a debtor you fools and blind <coughs> For whether is greater, the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold, and whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whosoever, uh, whosoever swears by the gift that is upon it, is, but by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. You fools and blind, who with, uh, whoever is is greater, the, which is greater, the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. And pray for our senior pastor. Apostle Dr. Paul Gitwaza. Uh, pray for our senior pastor, Apostle mm. Paul Gitwaza. Numuriangoe. And his family. And also the people that work with him. All the pastors. Abachiristu. And all the members of the na, church. Na and all those who love Jesus. And also we are going to pray for the country. We pray for our president Paul Kagame. Numuriangoe. And his family. Na na Even those who work with him. And also we are going to pray for the family. Mother, fathers and children and house helpers. Let us pray. Let us pray and start with the church. We pray for our pastors. Ukomeze kuduha umugisha wawe mwami. Turakwereka igihugu cyacu ndetse nibindi bihugu. Igihugu cyacu mwami turahera ku bayobozi, turakwerekanya ku baha president Paul Kagame n'umuryango we. Turakwerekaho bakora na bose muri guverinoma no muri parliament no muri sena no ndetse n'abashinzwe umutekano no bucamanza. Turakwerekana ibindi bihugu nyagasani mwami. Turakwerekaho ibibazo byose biri muri isi, turakwerekana intambara, turakwerekaho ubukene, turakwerekana mwami ibibazo byose byuhangayikishije ubwoko bwawe ari bibyo rizo nibindi byose. Turakwere ku muryango wiremeye abagabo bagore nabana ndetse nabakozi mu ngo nabandi bose bari mu ngo abo bose mwami nabana bawe uwiteka mwami ukomeza imiryango ukomeza abagabo nabagore ukomeza nyagasani mwami abana mu ngo nabakozi mwami uwiteka ikibahiro cyawe abiryo kigaragara ahantu hose kandi uhabwe ikibahiro mu ijuru no mu isi tubisenze twizeye mu izina ya Yesu Kristo umwe wacu amen twajya gusengera n'ibindi bintu bitubuza kugera ku ntego yacu murabizi ni byinshi cyane ariko buri muntu yabisengera ku gitike you can also pray for the things that hinder you to reach your purpose there are many things but you can pray for them personally hari ibintu bitubuza kugera ku ntego yacu things that hinder us from reaching to our purpose murabizi turi mu ntambara yo kurwana n'ubutsinzi we are in a battle and a battle that we have already won. But there are things that are in front of us that we should fight. So I will be reading, but you will pray for them. So as the church, let us, uh, let us rebuke the spirit of hypocrisy in the church. So you should mean what you say and you should be knowing what you're saying. You, sh you can lie to us but you can't lie to God. A spirit of pretending in the church. Uh, we've been say, we, they told us that we can no longer 
we are free to not wear the face mask. But we should also rebuke the face mask in our spirit. And that's the one that is evil. Let us rebuke division. Rebuke jealousy. Rebuke uh, greediness. Rebuke false prophecy. And rebuke anything that may take us astray. And the last one. So, and again on our nation. Let us rebuke drunkardness. Let us rebuke fornication. Fornication is everywhere. Uh, a, a child of months can um, fornicate. Um, and an old woman and an old, la uh, an old lady and man can agata also agata find themselves in fornication. Agata and in the middle there, I can't say anything. And again, we have also another new thing. <laughs> fornicating animals. <laughs> fornicating. <laughs> fornicating animals. <laughs> and fornication of different kinds. Let us rebuke uh, corruption. Uh, let us rebuke theft. And let us rebuke poverty. Let us rebuke adultery. And and so I've been reading, I read somewhere recently that also the prostitutes in Rwanda have increased their price because of the war in Ukraine. So, so we have normalized this, but fornication is not normal. And also let us rebuke uh, treason. A treason. Let us rebuke a division. Let us rebuke lies. Let us rebuke uh, favoritism. Let us rebuke uh, Unfaithful, unfaithful, uh, unfaithfulness. Let us rebuke lie. And in the family, it is on another level. Let us rebuke the spirit of divorce. Our children divorce after two days. So let us rebuke torturing your, your, your spouse or harassment. harassment. Let us rebuke death and fighting and wars in the family. Let us rebuke homosexuality. Let us rebuke transgender and the rest. They, they recently, we recently saw a man who was a man, but he got pregnant and gave birth. So if men start giving birth, what will our children do? Where will, will our children go? So we have strong issues. So in these developed countries, there are, we have also other things that are now no more. It's open marriage. Open marriage in Rwanda, we have to say, we have to say, we have so this open marriage, it's getting married to anyone. Like you're free to marry. So this open marriage, you, a, a woman is allowed to have other means that he or uh, that she wants. 
as long as they want the the men or the women numugabo yemeye kugira abagore bose ashaka and likewise the man also is allowed to have other women ndetse bajya bagira umunsi bajya bagira umunsi mukuru bose bagahura and they have a day that they all gather bakamenyana and they know each other bagasabana and they have a communion noneho je w'umugabo wange nkakwereka abandi bagore mfite so me as your husband i sh- I, I reveal to you the other women that i have umugabo nawe akakwereka abandi bagore afite and also the woman the your, your your wife reveals to you other men that he no, no, mukanga mu, mukanga mu and you eat and you drink and you thank god ubwo nibwo bwenge umuntu agezeho so that's the wisdom that man has dero bagenzi bange dusenge cyane so let us pray isi igeza hantu habi because the world is on ari nibindi dukora bad is in bad shape and also there are drugs ari ukuntu twambara the way we dress ukuntu tugenda the way we walk ukuntu tuvuga the way we speak ukuntu twicara the way we sit ukuntu tureba the way we we look ibyo tureba what we ibyo, what we ibyo see or what we watch, twandika, byose, ibyo, 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 or what we read and what we write let us glorify god in our deeds in everything that we do ibyo turimo byose in everything that we do and wherever we are bijye biheshimana icyubahiro let us glorify god aho kuza hanga ha gusuka manika mu boko karya ry'Imana ntacyo bimaze just coming in the house of god and raise up your hands in hypocrisy ariko gerageza kwera imbuto so no effort and is kugira ngo no batazi Yesu bamumenye but bear fruit so that people who do not know Jesus may know him through you uko niko kuvuga ubutumwa and that's evangelism kuvuga ubutumwa ntabwo ari ugenda usakuza mu muhanda evangelism is not going out shouting and proclaiming ariko nurwandiko ni picture uhabana but it's the picture that you show it's the it's the way you you take yourself iman iduhumugisha so may god bless you ah deka mwese muze kubisengera reka dukomeze so you pray for that muhaguruke twumbere isezerano ry'umunsi so you can stand up and we listen to the promise of the day Kucyumweru ukwezi kwa gatanu tariki 15 bibiri 2022 Uyu numunsi w'ijana na 135 w'umwaka muri kumwe na Apostle Dr Paul Gitwaza isezano ry'umunsi Ibyo uzagambirira bizaba uko ushaka Ibyo uzagambirira bizaba uko ushaka Mu gitabo cha Yobu 22 ku murongo wa 28 Uzagira icyo ugambirira kikubera ukushaka kandi umucyo uzamurikira inzira zawe Umva Imana yemeye imigambi yawe yemeye imitekereze yawe ikintu cyose kiza kiguteza imbere giteza abandi imbere giteza ubwoko bwawe imbere giteza igihugu cyawe imbere giteza umugabane wawe imbere giteza urubyaro rwawe imbere giteza abandi bantu imbere abatishoboye abakene abatindi abatareba abadafite shinge na rugero Umugambi mwiza wose ugiye kugambira mu mutima wawe Imana irakubwiye ngo bizaba uko ushaka Uzagira icyo gambirira bikubera ushaka ndetse Imana igiye kuguha umucyo uzakumurikira uko uzabikora Mana ndagushima ko rewe wuzuza imigambi y'abana bawe ikiri mu mitima yacu umwami uragiso ndibuka usoza umugambi Daudi yarafite ku mwana we Salomo nawe ni kugiye kubikorera abana bawe mwami ngo ibyo tuzagambirira bizaba uko tubishaka ndagusaba ngo umwe mwami gukora umwe gutekereza umwe kurota kugira ngo inzo zize zizabe impamu mwizina rya Yesu mana urakoze ko umwiyeretse kandi umuhaye kugambirira nkuka wera mwongorere imigambi yose agomba gukora myiza mwereke inzira agomba gucamo hanyuma umurikirishe umuco wawe agera wa muhamagariye urakoze kubikoze mu izina rya we Yesu amen Mwangere dukomere imana na mashyi kubwira iryo sezerano Let us give a mighty hand clap to the promise Aposo imana igumugisha Aposo may God bless you Nikatwumve jingo ya One Stone Project Let us listen to the jingo of One Stone Project Yesa shimwe cyane bwoko bw'Imana hobe 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 umwaka mwiza wa 2022 ndagira ngo mbibutse ku mushinga wacu ibuye rimwe 
dufite inyuba ko tugomba kubaka ku musozo wa masengesho dufite inyuba ko tugomba kubaka hirya no hino nkaba mbone yo kubibutsa ko uyu mwaka wa 2022 tugiye gutangira kandi umushinga wacu ubuyarimwe umwaka ushize mwagaragaje gutanga ariko siko bose babishoboye cyangwa se babyitabiriye ndabasaba ngo uyu mwaka twitabire tugicyo dutanga mu byukuri yo tubasha kwitabira tuba twarakoze ibikorwa bikomeye ariko muzi ko twahoye n'ibibazo bikomeye bya covid n'ibindi byose byatunye amatoro menshi asa nafunzwe kandi atabashe gukora ariko uyu mwaka turabona ibintu bitangiye kwa byiza ndabasaba rero ngo duhaguruke icyarimwe tubashe kugira icyo dukora e, ibuye rimwe ryavuye ku gitekerezo muri buka Daudi mu mvumba yarafite nako mu ruhago rwe yarafite mu mabuye atanu bibiri iravuga ngo agiye kurwanya mu Filistia ngo akaba kabamo akura mu ibuye rimwe ari mu kocoye mu Filistia gwa hasi Israeli irabohoka ndagira ngo umenye ko hasigaye e, amabuye ane mu mvumba ya Daudi turabasaba ba Kristo bazane tempo hari kindi gihanda kituri imbere gihanda cyo bukene kindwara kibazo kingora nibindi byose wongere kandi ukabakawe mu mvumba yawe ukure mu iryo buye rimwe dukore nguko Daudi yabigenje dukocore umu Filistia uduhagaza imbere zane tempo nta mutera nkunga igira uretse wowe ditugira ba missionnaire abandi badufasha missionnaire wacu ni wowe dero hirya no hino kwisi mu mazone tempo yacu muyugo bitandukanye hari wa bantu bashinzwe kugira ngo bashike kwakira umusanzu umu Kristo Yesu azo ni tempo agomba cyangwa se asabwe gutanga umusanzu mu Rwanda ungana n'igihumbi cy'amanyarwanda eh umuvuga butumwa bigizi niwe wakira iyo nkunga telefone ngendanwa ye ni 0728827719 turasaba abashumba bacu bose mu Rwanda kubwira abakristo bacu buri mu Kristo gatanga amafaranga igihumbi buri kwezi ndifuwa ngo umwe kuzarangira ari ibihumbi 12 umuntu wese wo mu mambre was in temple reka umugisho w'Imana ubane namwe Imana ibagiriye neza turasaba ngo Kristo bacu bose uhereye ku mwana kweza ku muntu mukuru muzitabire buri buri kwezi gusohoza uyu mugambi kugira ngo tugere ku bintu bikomeye Imana yadusabye gukora Imana ndagushima ku bwa bene data bose bazitanga kuri iki gikorwa ndasaba umugisha ubarinde indi yanyi ubarinde inyatsi ubarinde ubuzukira na kagungu na zanga bo zose uteza abantu bose batatu kora umurimo wawe ndasaba ngo zikure imbere yabo bakabakaye mu mvumba yabo bakure mu ibuye babasha gukocora ubukene indwara ibibazo ingorane mu izina rya Yesu ubwo bahagurukiye gukora umurimo wawe naho hagurukiye mwami kubakoresha ibikomeye reka umugisha w'amanukire mu izina rya Yesu Kristo mwami wacu amen yesa baho umugisha mani wo umugisha so may God bless you. We reach in another good moment of presenting to you the marriage couples that we may pray for them that God may be with them. Vincent. As they mention your name, you can step forward. Mutegereze mugenzi wawe kuko ntibintu turabemerera. Uraza wenyine. Nangwa shobora no kuba yahinduye imigambi. Nabyo turabimenye. Hanyuma dusabe bashabe BTF. Nawe tere ntambwe. Dusabe ni yitanga François. Muze mwihuta muze mwihuta Ngiye cyo kugenda buhoro nikiraza Wihuta Ah umuto ni Gerardine Genda nkubishaka ariko ubuse Tebuka tebuka Anyuma rwa Samanzi Emi Namukashaka Antoinette Ndwingo ma Steve Arno Naka Mariza Francine uh, 
hanyuma bya ruhanga robert na uwa maria ivone abo ngabo bazane Yabwo gapfuka munwe niko kabuza gabantu kurongora ba ntiwabona gabo Ntiwabare baganeze Mugakure mutubarebe So you can take off your face mask Eh turatsinze Vensa nuruhe na Bashabe Betef Eh ni yitanga Francois na umutoni Gerardine Rwasa manzi mi na mukashaka Antoinette Nduingo ma Steve Arno na Kamariza Francine bya Ruhanga Robert Noa Maria Ivone Mbega ibintu byiza What a good thing Imani ibaho umugisha So may God bless you Kansabe pastor gatungo na madam bazi babahesha umugisha. Request pastor gatungo to come and the wife to come and pray for these couples. Aba bantu rero so these people nkuko mubareba as you see them bafite urugendo rukomeye cyane. They have a, a great journey. Twese tubashyigikire. So let us support them. Mu buryo bwa ribwo bwose in every way. Mu mwuka in the spirit Mubifatika, and in the tangible no mubitekerezo byacu and even in uh, and give them ideas imani baho mugisha so may god bless you izaba hikubana neza and give you a good marriage kandi mu byari muheke and give birth to children ahungu nakobwa girls and boys imani baho mugisha may god bless you karibu pastor mana mwizina rya Yesu Kristo twatuye umugisha kuri aba bahungu n'aba bakobwa we proclaim a blessing to these children. They have fulfilled what you said. They are in the sanctuary, in your glory. In front of the parents and in front of pastors. And in front, in front of the heavens that are with us. We have authority to bind things and they are bound. bound. And we have authority to open things and they are opened. So whatever is not good in their journey. As the church, we bind it in the name of Jesus. And every good thing that they need. We stand as a church and open blessings on their lives. As they come from this podium. Let them be surprised by your blessing. Let the doors that were closed be opened. Let the heavens blessings come upon them. Let your glory be upon them. And protect them from every evil one. And keep them in your holiness. Until that day. When they will be blessed with being married. And, and give them people who support them and understand them open heaven for their sake that they may get prepared with their weddings we rebuke divorce on their lives let them grow all together and let their children enjoy family. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, one more thing. Jaruhanga Robert and Wamadia. Abanga so they are, they've come just to legalize <laughs> to and they have come that they may have a blessing of God. <laughs> so may God bless you. <laughs> so you may take your seats. So we reach in another good moment of blessing uh, blessing God with a 
belongings. So let us pray for the offerings. Father, we reveal to you, we bring to you whatever you have given us. We, have, we show you all that you've given us. And we thank you with our tithe and offerings and we pray that you will sanctify it and may it be a pleasing aroma to you that we may have your blessing and we also pray for those who have nothing to give you that they may have what to give next time they come in your sanctuary so may you bless us with our belongings we pray in the name of Jesus Yani pasa kumshukuru Mungu kwa ma anafadhili zake za milele kwa rehema akanitoa dhambi Project, 
Momo ni zero gatatu ibihumbi bibiri. Zero gatatu ibihumbi bibiri. So for those who would like to give in one stone project, the Momo Pay code is uh, zero three two thousand. Kuri momo pe ni zero gatatu karindwi zero umunani zero yanditse kuri za Unity Temple Celebration Center. And if you would like to give your offerings using momo pe, the code is zero three seven zero eight zero. Uh, ava mushwara gukole abari hanze Rwanda mushwara gukole sha world limit gutera nya magana bili milongi tano karindwi umunani gatani chenda gatatu gatanda tu. And for those who are outside Rwanda, you may use World Remit, and the number is plus 250-785-936-915, registered in Authentic Word Ministries. So may God bless you as you welcome the servant of God. <laughs> Yara sute muna tuye no nami Dimi zonse Father God, we thank you. And we give you the honor. You overcame the battle. So you're no longer going to die. So we are not going to die. We thank you for you are our God. You're the God of all the believers. You're the God who have hope. You're the God who seeks you. You're the God for those who know you and those who are not knowing you. You're a man of valor. You're a righteous man. 
mwiza bagutegereje bose muri iki gitondo nabuguri mwiza nejo zaburi mwiza wahoze uri mwiza wanze gutakaza ubwiza bwawe wanze gutakaza akamero kawe uguma nubwiza bwawe uracyari uracyagira urukundo uracyagira neza uracyumva gusenga uracyatabara uracyaruhura barushye you still bring rest to those uracyakiza indwara you still heal diseases uracyakiza ibyaha you still heal sin uracyahembura you still resurrect uracyatanga icyerekezo you still bring direction uracyagirira neza you still go do good abakwambaza bose but call upon you muri uyu munsi so today muri iki gitondo this morning twongiye kuza mu bwiza bwa we come in your glory mucuwa hiro cyawe in your honor kugira ngo tukugire umugisha we may have a blessing ubuzima bwacu kugira umugisha that life may have our path may change. Our lifestyle may change. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, those who do not know you get to see you. Those who are walking by, let them encounter you because of your goodness, because of your mercy, because of your love. Father, create us as moments. In this moment, create for us moments, a special moment. Moments that we didn't live in our homes. Moments that are not in our homes. Moments that are only before you. So we are praying that in this church, great for us a moment, a moment of the believers, a moment of the spiritual, a moment of those who need revival, a moment of fresh open heavens for us, open heavens for us, open heavens for us, that we might make them alive. Have another communication. There should be a communication. In the heaven and earth. Have There should be a communication. Of our lives, Lord. And in heaven. In the name of Jesus. 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 Yeah, we are sure. Oh heavens. Yeah, we are sure. Oh heavens. Our hope is upon you. You heaven. The hope of the earth is upon you. You heaven. Oh heaven. Our hope is upon you. The hope of the saints is upon you. Isaiah prayed. And he said, I wish you could break the heavens. And fire would come down. To burn down the fire. And the dead mountains to tremble before you. The people should know that we have a God. I wish you could break down the heavens. And this morning, Lord, I wish you would shake heavens in the name of Jesus for the prophets and benefits over those who dwell in the world. Jesus, our Lord. Yes, Mr. Jesus, the good Lord. Yes, Jesus. You, the man who, who has brought us to rest. All the burdens that we've been having. You are where, yes. It's you only, Jesus. Who healed us from sin? Are still healing us tonight. You are where, yes. It's you, Jesus. And who, and who is that? And who? Who else can we have faith in? Who else can we put our hope in? Where can we free from? Where can we find home? Where can we find rest? Where can we hear the good words? Where can we be strengthened? And who else can take away the burdens we have that are taking us long in this journey? It's not only one. It's you, Jesus. It's you, Jesus. It's you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. May the Lord God bless you, church. Azaf, may God bless you richly. Those who are online, Azaf, may God bless you richly. Abali online, may God bless you richly. For those online following us, also may God bless you. Abashi tima, may God bless you. The visitors in Amidis, may God bless you. The youth, may God bless you.
The fathers in the house, may God bless you. The mothers here, may God bless you. If you had a good conference, I believe. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? It's like you didn't follow. Did you have a good conference? May God be praised for all those who followed. May God bless us all. We are giving thanks to God for giving us again this opportunity to share with you the word of God. We are giving thanks for God for that. And also we give thanks to our spiritual parents that have also trusted us this much and even given us a great opportunity that we are being able to spread the good gospel. Amen. Amen. Let us give Jesus a mighty hand clap for that. We are in the year running towards the goal. In other words, we are in a race. We are in a race and competition. It's, there is a place where we are running to. So if we are running somewhere, it means we are coming from somewhere as well. Where we are coming from is not nearby. And even where we are heading to is not also nearby. But still we are in a race. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. I think you always follow some of the competitions. If you are people of the town, I know. And you get to happen to go to the competitions. In Rwanda we are used of the bicycles. Or other marathons. And even other competitions. So it's amazing the way the Bible wants to compare those in this, the things in earth and those in heaven. But because we dwell here in the earth, I came to find that the Bible will start with the worldly language because this is where we have a lot of knowing so that he may take us to another language to which we have no any knowing. About. So if, he, if God would start with the things in heaven, we would not understand. It's like they would ask you about Kigali. You would speak it very eloquently. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mujitavo Twaso Mnemo Chavahebrayu in Chichachum Nakaviri. In the book of Hebrews, chapter twelve, where we read last time. Twana Soma. We can read too. Chum Nakavir Murongo Ambere. Abinango no Konatwe. Nuko natwe ubwo tugoswe n'igicucu cy'abahamya bangana buryo baryo twiyambuye ibitwiyambura ibituremerera byose n'icyaha kibasha kutwizingiraho vuba dusiganirwe aho dutegeka twihanganye dusiganirwe aho dutegeka tugize gute twihanganye ako kano bashize modi therefore we also since we are surrounded by a so great cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance to the race that is set before us. Amen. Komeza. Dutumbira Yesu wenyine ari we banze ryo kwizera kandi ari ugusoza rwose. Yihanganiye umusaraba kubwi byishimo byamukizwe imbere nti yita ku isoni zawo yicara iburyo bw'intebe y'Imana. Soma no muri Yohana igice cyakane we can, meanwhile, we can read the verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, the discipline of God. Let us go to John. John chapter 16, verse 8. Mm -hmm. 
byo kurya byanjye no gukora ibyo wantumye ashaka no kurangiza umurimo we komeza mbese nkimuvuga ngo hasigaye ameza ne isarura rigasohora dore ndababwira ni mwubura amaso murebe imirima yuko imaze kwera ngo isarurwe umusaruza habwe ibihembo ateraniriza imyaka ubugingo buhoraho ngo mubibyi n'umusaruzi banezeranwe kukwira ijambo ari iryo kuri ngo abibumwe hagasarura undi nabatumye gusarura ibyo mutahinze abandi barakoze namwe mwazunguye murimo wabo nuko benshi mu basamaria bo muri uwo mudugudu bizera Yesu kuko bumvise amagambo y'uwo mugore ahamya bati yambwiye ibyo nakoze byose nuko basamaria bamusanze baramwinginga ngo agumane nabo asibira yo kabiri ekirongaho mwakire neza ijambo ry'Imana receive the word of God amen amen mu gitabo cy'abaheburayo aho twasomye tutangiriyeho Bibiliya yavuze ngo nuko ubwo tugoswe n'igicu cy'abahamya bangana baryo. In the book of Hebrews where we started reading it says that since we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Kubera ko mwese mutagize amahirwe yo kuboneka kwa kabiri no kwa kane ndashaka gukora gasamari gatoya. Since you didn't have a chance to be here all of you during the weekdays then I want to make a real summary of it. Twaravuze ngo ukuntu iki gice gitangira biragaragara ko yari inkuru ndende isa nkigeze hagati. We say that the way this this chapter starts is like a long story has been cut short and then we start from here. Because in the chapter 11 there is a long list of the heroes of faith. The people who walked with God. The people who worked the works of God. Basing on the faith they based on faith and they walked with God. They based on faith and they did great works. And they became heroes of faith. Their past is written down in the book. And this book we were given to it so that we may learn and read of the histories of the people who were And in their journey they revealed the character of God. The way they worked with God. And the way God thinks. So the Bible told us now therefore since we are surrounded by a great cloud of this long list of witnesses and who are multitudes in other words these witnesses who came before us what they did they completed their work and the one who enabled them is still there the God they prayed you the God we prayed the God they believed is the God we believed in and so now therefore since we are surrounded by these people we are surrounded by these witnesses that are witnessing the goodness of God that are witnessing the love of God that are witnessing the mercy of God that are witnessing the works of God so let us not fear let us not fear and we too we shall be enabled the one who was with them so he will be with us in this journey the one who came to their rescue, who come to rescue us as well. The one who enabled them, enabled them in the rest, he will enable them in this rest as well. And so we are focusing unto Jesus. He only he is the author of faith. It's like as if heaven is putting us between two powers. The power in our past out of the church and even the heroes of those who had faith in God and even the power of the cross that is set before us that gives us hope that strengthens us in this journey. In other words, we are not taking on the past. We are looking on the past and also the power of God. But then too, there is also our role to be playing. The Bible says that let us lay out all that is hindering us and even any sin that may cling on us. The word to lay out it gives us a responsibility. So believers there are times we take off our responsibility or people in general and we lay it on God. And it's like as if we are waiting upon God. Yet God also is waiting upon us. So we say that there are times people are waiting on God when God is waiting on them. They are waiting for prophecy. 
when God is waiting for them to ask so let us lay off all that is hindering us and even in the sea that may cling on us so we said that we are not having burdens the same way there are some things which are burdening people in different categories and some of them they have no any control about it they don't have the power to take them out they are so burdened with the powers of darkness and so we gave an example of a person who is burned and their life is burned in some place so because the rope is put in two places people who went to, to, to the people who read shots you find a god when they are putting it on a tree and another rock is in the neck of the god the god itself it has no power to take itself out of the rock so this god can I tell it that you god take off or that is bad you take off that rock Rope. It can tell you that do not put you. You give an example of a man who was in the nation of Magdalene who was born with powers of darkness and so the Bible says he lived in the tombs he would cut himself with stones his life was so loseless in the face of the society so it came to a point of on top of being bound by the devil and even people brought another bondage that they may tie him up and he came to give them peace but then there was a problem because of this person, he was born inside, he was born internally, so he gave him the power to control the outer thing. So we say that the devil burns people inside, he burns the hearts of people, and that's why even outside, he has control over them. He started inside. Their hearts then, they are fighting by the powers of darkness. It is possible that you may put on dress okay, smartly, me, me, and you go in your mirror on, and you say I have no any rope I have any there's no any rope that can bind me, me. me. so your mirror my dear it has no power and authority to show me you me you if you see in the mirror and look on the situation of your heart me. then I'll come to borrow that mirror from it you another thing I've come to me know me. is that even the mirrors lie to us, you to us. Me. When you stand before the mirror, when you put on the words with, with the words, you cannot read the words. When you're standing before the mirror and you do like this, the mirror, the man in the mirror, they will use another hand. In other words, the mirror is upside down. And this is what you base on in Kigali. So many people, they walk according to wrong information. Wrong information which is upside down. So many people, they don't walk with the truth. They are on the confidence of the mirror. The mirror told him you're standing this way, so they didn't know that their power was burned inside. The word is outside his eternal. So this man, they try to tie him up, but then the rock, he will tear them down, and they would burst. What? So Jesus saw this from afar and he prepared a journey and he went into Magdalene and he crossed the sea. Jesus prepared a journey. There are times when God prepares a journey. There are God prepares a journey to come and see the associate and make them burn. Let me tell you people God. Though I may not repeat it. Though I may not say what anything. What was said before is that I can repeat it. So Jesus prepared a journey coming to meet the people. He, came, he, went, he reached into Magdalene when he had a mission of one man. You may come here in the service yet yeah, Jesus is coming for one you person. You may be filled in the church yet yeah, Jesus has one person in mind. So this when people are coming here like this yes we, be, we are happy <laughs> Yes, they have come to hear the word of God. But God himself does not work according to the democracy. He doesn't work according to the multitude. 
He walks according to his duality. The heart of one man that seeks one man. So he leaves what is valuable and then he comes to seek one man who is lost. So he left heaven and he saw that it was not something to know. Because of being a child of God, he said, I must come to seek the lost sheep. So Jesus, when he got to Magdalene, so he was repeating the situation had repeated itself. And then what was happening? He has a revelation of what is happening in the city. So why am I saying this? When we are in a rest, and you don't know what less you're running, you're always in defeat. So this man, when he saw him from front of him, he ran to him and he bowed down before him. He said, Where do I, what do I have with you, son of God? Yes, Jesus had known the situation yes, yes, When Jesus looks at you, he knows what is inside yes, yes, you. When Jesus looks at you, he knows what is using you. There are people we see like as if they have a zeal to just have a zeal yes, to make yes, us yes, confused. Yes, but then Jesus is brought by the zeal in God. And since if you don't want to be seen, yes, when Jesus looks at us, he sees us all of us behind and in front. And then he saw that there's only one man they are speaking to. He said, who are you? He said, what? We are a legion. That is our name. How many are you? He said, what? We are so many, Jesus. You're many? In a man, one man? Within a man, one man? Is full of a legion of demons. So they say, he said, if one man can be filled or possessed and it possessed with demons, so it is possible as well that you can also be possessed by the Spirit of God. It is possible that God can be filled with you. If one man can host whole hell because it can be so it is possible that you can also host hell. Heaven. If one man yeah, can become yeah, a, a dwelling place of demons, it is possible that now this man also you, you can be a dwelling place of the power of God. So, Church of God, it is possible to serve God. It is possible to own God. In you. It is possible to be led by God. It is possible to believe in God. It is possible to walk with God. It is possible to lay off our weight. Yes, so when Jesus came to him, the demons had to introduce themselves to him. And then he found them when there are many. He found them when there are many. There is something that happened. So they cried to him. They say, We plead with you. We beg you, Jesus, do not kill us. The death of this which is bad. At least seek a place to put us us. But then we ask you, Jesus, that do not take us away from this nation. Do not take us away from this nation. They didn't say, do not take, put, take us away from this man. So their mission was not this man. Their mission, it was the nation. So the demons that you see in people, in their name mission, is not on these people only. They have a mission of a long time that brings down nations. Demon. So the ne demons, they are asking Jesus. They are negotiating God and nation. When the believers, you are negotiating with shoes. You are asking three days prayer for shoes. But the demons are asking for a nation. Other than we are asking for garments. But they are asking for a nation. Other than you are asking for a visa. They are asking for a nation. <laughs> You are just beautifying yourself. And that's why people, there are sometimes they are to surprise. And the nation is filled with darkness. Why? Because they were not in accord with the meetings of God. And get to know what? What are the no, plans of the throne of God? If you find that the nation, if you find the demons are not asking for God, you will change your prayers and ask God the nation. The amazing thing most, they said we, 
Do not cast out us of this nation. Our mission is not this man, but this nation. It is this nation that brought us. So Jesus said, okay, nations, there are some things they are not aware of because the intelligence levels, they always seek the criminals but then they never know where the dwelling place of demon and where it is their mission is to bring down nations so Jesus says let me reveal your secrets so again they requested him just help us and send us to those pigs. Jesus said, which ones? He said, that those men there. So Jesus accepted. So Jesus is he a greedy man to bring to the loss of the investors? Did Jesus come to put to a loss of the investors? So why that gives a demon their authority to ask for those things? So why reason that brings the demon the power over your home? What gives the demon the power over your children? There is a gift that brings in the enemy in the lives of people. There is a gift that has brought the devil in the nation of man. Yes. So when Jesus saw it, the pigs and he knew where the pigs came from and then he accepted they went into the pigs and the pigs went into the sea why is this? because this, this well, he was going back to where it came from and the investors they are seeking wealth from hell and the devil gives them medication and they gave them a victory that they should do over this fear. And we will are so pleased that investment is rapid in the nation. Yet in heaven, they are in an operation to bring and serve the nation. And in heaven, they are in an operation to use money. So the church, you are sleeping and your money, you don't know where you invest in. But then the money is coming from hell and is sponsoring the actions in earth the investors they are standing on the benefits of darkness and this they had, they had possessed this man they had made them a sacrifice so many people they are sacrifices of others they are sacrifices of investors in the cities they are living in they are, they are living a life they have no control what happens to them they don't understand they are so bound by powers and so Jesus he sent away the demons and the man came alive and then the shepherds went running and they brought their people and they said and what so when they would see the man they would see he's a good man he's taking the dust away from his clothes he said how come this had come to me yet he has spent years in the tomb there are people who are living there they are what they are doing they don't know I love that Jesus he remembered these people and so he took away all those powers and then he delivered him and this life the life of this man into the rest. so God is willing that you should enter into the rest he wants you to take away what is burdening you that you have no control over and then he gives you what your heart is burdening you that you have control over the things that are burdening you that are coming from afar that God wants to heal from you you, but then also you take a responsibility of taking away and laying out whatever has been raining on you. So Jesus took Lazarus from the tomb and when he took him to the ground, he told the people 
more and also that is remaining you can do so I finished my job you can also do what is remaining and the angel of God he took Peter from James and put him in the city and then he said now there you can walk Peter so God wants to make you reach a place where you can help yourself God wants to make you to reach where you have a good journey and you enter into the rest there is a person who is laying in the rest there is a person who is laying in the rest you want to enter into the rest you are delayed into the rest and yes we have accepted it and we see there is nothing we can do for you unless to bind you more but then God is coming he is coming to make you join the rest but this also this scripture may be accomplished on you Yes, so Jesus broke the rock and yet he broke it from hell and the man started walking because because he has spent long time in this problem so there is something else he remains with the, the rope in hell got broken so we have other categories of people they are believers in him they have meant God and he has done the work for them and he has broken the rope but then he, he has broken it from hell. And then he left them with this one in the Because it requires a responsibility or a role of person. So this, we walk with it alone. And even here you're seated with it. And you're like as if you're in liberty. But when the devil seeks you, he just steps on that road. Though you may be up in the tree, you come down. You always see people who are being brought up and when the devil steps on the road, they are brought down completely. They have been brought out and they forgot to take off the road. All that is biting them. All the way that is hardening them. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Don't you, can't you take any rope away from your neck? Can't you take a decision this morning? And say starting now, I will never again have division with you. Can't you take a decision? And you say from now, this man will not enter my house again. Can't you take a decision? And you say starting from now, I'm taking these decisions. So many people love God so much. But then a lot of people fear the laws that go on surrendering to God. When you have encountered God, the first step is not to change or transformation. The first step is to turn. When you have turned, you start the process of transformation. So you want to change when you're still facing. You want to change when you're still going to Damascus. You want to change on the way to Damascus. No, that is impossible. The only thing God does is he will change your way. And that's why there is a sin that is clinging on you. You cannot take it off from you. In the way to Damascus, it is impossible that you may turn. It requires you to turn And then you change direction. And in that direction, then there's the journey to transform. That is you that okay, is waiting. Or that is okay, you take yourself from fornication. You want to turn between the friends you had in long time ago. You want to turn to the man who has been with you for a long time. He said, maybe I'll come back later. Let us be together. Let us stay together. Yes, the, the only thing that like Jesus he needs is my heart. Quiet. Everything else is, there is nothing wrong with it. Oh, oh that's so sad. And there are the other people. Yes, they have been delivered from hell. They have taken off the rope. Yes, they are standing. They have no anything showing their bounds. But now because they took time in this problem, they are always fearful. Like they are being bound. They can't make a step. They are just static in one place. We say, hello, hello, you're not making business. Can I try it and it's possible? They are not bound out, but they are bound by just a cloud. 
They are bound by nothing which is not there. They took a hand from Butare when it was bound by its feathers. When they got to Kigali, they took away the rope. And then they found the hand was already positioned in that position. He said, Maybe they will cut my throat. Now, because of taking long in the problem, so you have taken the form of the problem. You still go and bring it. You didn't know that Jesus can be And when you are folded, you see everything folded. And you see all oh, people are like this. And no, that's not how it is. is. All people are not like that. All people are not bad. And all people are thieves. If you have one million, you say you never know this people. You, how come you, can't can't you, you see a people and you think they are thieves? That is the rope that was with you. That is the outcome of being in the problem. All people you think are thugs. When they are paid, they think all people know. So that only itself will make you sin. What do you want to have you, have you ever seen a person who a God has come? They can't go to the shop. Uh, and they buy and they put it in their and for those in the bank, and for those in the bank, they see Bo boss. oil in Wanya their pockets. And they see our boss where the rain hit you from. That is a wound of poverty. People who are born in poverty, they grow in it. And God did good to them. And he showed them the way. And they were resurrected. And they get to know where they buy coats. But then they didn't know that even the protocol should change. They didn't know that even the lifestyle should change. And that's why the Israelites they were asking God for onions of Egypt. Yet yeah, they were in the Ruji journey Kanan. to go in Canaan. And they would tell God, you Moses, we miss the onions. We miss the garlic. We miss even all the leeks. Oh, we miss even the fish we ate for no cost. Can you imagine? Candy. And yet, God has already started to process to the leave to take them out of Egypt. They have come from Pharaoh when God had performed nine miracles and they crossed the Jordan when there is no blood, when there is no bridge, but when they were sinned, so they are going and then God he has healed the water of Mara when they are seen. And then God continued. He brought manna when they are seen. And after that, and they had a rumble of people among them. And they started complaining. And they also, it reminded them, they also started complaining again. And they forgot the manna. And they asked God the meat and fish they ate for nothing. And say, God, we are dry. We are so finished this time. When God is telling you to lay off the weight, he knows that yes, you come in church. He knows you no longer fornicate. He knows you no longer steal. So why is he still asking you to lay off the weight? You are being, the, the promises are making you to sin. To being sin, sinning in this journey. The process of being restored is is making the believers to see when they were coming from Egypt when God was calling upon Moses he has already started the journey so it requires you to be patient and that he bear the cross for the joy that was set before him and he did not care about the shame when we are walking we are not called people who are boastful it's just people who are bearing the cross we are walking by the sky of Jesus on our bodies. That's what Paul is saying. He said that we use our body with bodies. And also us, we should have no blame. And we are not accepted. So we are training the way we do it when we are in Canaan. So this is why the reason why in Canaan they do this. 
they have no training for being a child. When ta- God is starting the rescue plan, start the training of how you conduct yourself that you may enter the rest very well when you are fully equipped. So we as Rwandans, we had a very great problem. God did good to us. And he gave us good leadership. And then development came rapidly. But then we didn't, we are not prepared to live in this development. And so we were surprised by the death. We were surprised by the way Kigali looks good. And then the believers put aside the Bibles we shall sing later. They didn't know that Kigali could be good to them. And so it is hard for us to be saved in this city. Yet in your village, you say if you come in Kigali, and those who came in Kigali said, when they go to Brussels, they put everything down. So they were not prepared to be saved when you have eaten. You don't know how to be saved when you have a good salary. You don't know how to be saved when you've had a promotion. You don't know how to be saved when you're married, you're no longer a single pastor. So you no longer come for the quiet practice because God has done something and that made you so busy. Being busy so, kuba busy doesn't mean being productive. To be busy doesn't mean or bring down your production. All people who are busy, it doesn't mean they have all production they need. So now they are reminding Moses. So Moses was greatly grieved. And where did it start? Among the people who were among them. So for the world to be like this, God gave guidelines in Eden of not eating the seed. And Evi ate some and gave to Adam. And when he ate, she ate on Adam on the seed. She said, now even my husband must eat. Even my husband must eat. Because I will not die alone. No. We shall die together. There are times when you go home and you find your colleague or your spouse that the enemy has made them the They are so bitter which is tangible. And they said you will start also eat on this bitter. The seed of eaten it so you eat upon it. No, I will not keep it to myself. You keep it as well. There are times you find when they have charged food and you say even I get home I also charge. And then they make you eat the seed which they ate from the place of work. That came from Adam and Eve. Do you also also think when Adam was found Eden, and he said, no, it's, the way it. it's your problem, Eve. Do you always imagine how it would be? He said, now we love each other, let me also eat. So the rumble, they made the Israelites to eat. Israel. They made the Israelites to eat. Israel. And also the Israelites, they brought the seed. They brought it to Moses. So Moses started complaining. These people did I want. Am I the only one to lead these people? I, Moses. So God says this man has eaten the fruit of complaints. So God had said, I will give a leadership to Moses. And he found 70 elders to help him in that. And, and then God, for the meat the people are asking for, tell them to stand still, they are going to eat the meat. But what it will do to them, you will see it by your eyes. Some will take his side, another will go up, others go down. So Moses said, what? But then he told to God, God, we are here in the wilderness. You're telling me they are going to eat meat the whole month. He said, God, you always brought man to the whole month. You tried even, you didn't try to eat Now you're telling me, why are you going to get the bulls to give to these people? So God laughed at Moses. He said, Moses, has the Lord's hand been shortened? Why don't you wait and 
see what I told you it will come to pass or it will not come to pass. You believers, why don't you wait and see what God has said with you? If you become to make it accomplished or you will not make it accomplished and then you go to the court, you are choosing God that he has not taken you as your residue. You are choosing God when you don't have clothes. You are choosing God when you have finished your education. You are choosing God when you come in church and sit in the front seat. You are choosing God when you have children and also have children. You are choosing God that you are drawn that nothing God has done. When he has worked, why don't you come down? And then we pray to him and we call upon him and then we lay all in Kigali or in Brasso that are, us, that are making hindering us in this journey. And then we start training. A man who was an athletics he was called Eastern Bolt he's among the men who has a very high rate of running 100 meters and even 200 meters. He runs 28 per hour. He runs 9 minutes seconds with 55 seconds. And the second one is an Italian. He's called Jacob. He runs 9 seconds with 56 seconds. So both say that for me to run these 9 seconds it requires requires me four years to, to, to prepare and train. Taking off my weight, regime, then eating well, then I took time. When God is saying that we are in a rest, always hear something called time to rest according to time. We are resting according to time. That's what the Bible tells us to look on the time. Use the time very well. Because the devil is also hard at work. He knows he has a very limited time. So our competition is according to time. The way you use your time is the way you come closer to victory. The way you bring down your time and you do a lot of idleness and that's when you, you but you must apply the times of the So, to rest according to time, the time, the time, and often on the field, this field also is also different. The people who go to the gym is what they call tabirula. This carpet, if you don't know it, and you go in the town, when you're coming from the rural areas, and you see the rolling stairs, so for you, you just come anyhow, crossing, and the, the head will come down, and the feet will go up. In other words, it will make you upside down. Why? There are places where they don't stand. So you should know the land to which you are running to. There are lands which you don't understand. You understand. But they are used for running. <laughs> so let us use our time very well and lay off the weight where we read here it is a conclusion I wanted to speak on this so Jesus met this Samaritan woman the woman who was so tired she was so tired in Samaria in Samaria she, in Samaria she would change men like the one who changed the shirt. But it was not because of her. There are times when the devil lies to your residue place okay, and you declare yourself as a refugee. When he has lied to you to, that it is a residue um, place. So this lady would change men. And the one on Monday was different from the one on Saturday. And there is one from Kigali and the one from Dubai. They have problems. So that people have problems are running to see. Busanga, So I came to find there are, there are people who are seen is making them leave. 
Hmm? He said, Pastor, this person pays my rent. They bring me to church and leave no, me no, there. No, and now you're telling me to leave them? Ne? How am I going to come no, to no, church? No, 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 no. So you, are you going to be caring after me? So you don't care the, the source of where it is coming from. So the devil has lied to them that they are rescued and they declare themselves as refugees. So this Jesus was telling you, and then he, he waited for her on the, on the well of Jacob. So when he had her in Samaria, he said, let me just sit on this well. Mm -hmm. This is an opportunity so he just sat on that well. So when he was sitting there, so this lady also came anyhow to fetch water. Wells are many, and even the people were tired are many. But then all wells, Jesus does not sit there. There is a well where you may meet God. There are times when a coincidence happens. There are things when things collide. And they collide with you when you're going there. And they collide with you when you're coming to church. Yet you're the person the devil has lied to you. You were just in sin. When they are so binding and so bound to you. And so Jesus adapted himself because of changing cities. And then he knew the language of the city. He said, my sister, don't you, why don't you give me water? So he called it water. Just not to make it something minor. He said, what? You are a Jew. I am a Samaria. How come you asked me of water? <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus said, I wish you knew the cowboy as you give me water. water. Then you would give me that water which is finished, and he would give you eternal life which does not get over. So when she has something that will not get over, she faces something that is measuring the way to her. So she said, please, can you take me can you take this burden of fetching water away from me? Give it to me, then I'll be a source of water in my community. They will come to <laughs> fetch water from me. Hey. Yes, sir. So Jesus had to find a reason. There is when God finds a reason from you. When he has nowhere to start with you. So for him to bring you to rest. He brings a new beginning in you. So he said you go. And then bring me your husband. He said I have no husband. And yet she had five women. And he also had a one to change. So Jesus told her you have come to Jesus. He said, for the first time, no, you're telling me the truth. Wow. Even the one you have now no, is not you. you. It's the one who lied to you. you. So, so I'm so amazed that you, don't, you also know that he's okay. not okay. mine. Okay. And then it's Jesus wants, you want Jesus to repeat this for okay. you. Okay. So she ran fast. Okay. She went to the city. He said, come, come, come. Come and see the pastor has told me everything about you. He said, in Zion they prophesy. In Zion they can prophesy. Said, on Tuesday no people came. On Thursday we happen to see people feel here. So there is someone who has called people. There is somebody who has called people. So when they came face to face with yes, Jesus, Jesus told her, I am the my Messiah. My and she said, oh my God. My so she took her tongue and broke it down. And then she ran back to the my city. My and she said, come. Come and see the man. Come and see the man. Come and see the Messiah. Come and see the God who has come to take away my tongue. There is a pot of there your past. There is a pot of your past. It is not Jesus who took it away from her. She just knew he's the Messiah. And she brought down the pot. And then she ran fast. And so God wants you to run fast. And go to spread the gospel. And put down your pot. And then lay off the way. And the sea that is clinging on you. Take away the way. Take away hypocrisy. Take away hypocrisy. 
they have heard Jesus denying you to run so be careful those who make you to eat the seed and then eat the, eat the fruit of Jesus stand up let us stand up bring down your pot and the pot you carry when you are leaving six men in your home because we have a program here there is an ambush on the, lay, on the well of Jacob so on this well, there is nowhere you can escape God from. If you have not yet been saved, this is where Jesus has come to see. This is where Jesus has put his step. We know. So come forward and meet Jesus. It's not me who has invited you in this service. Come and encounter Jesus. And then you get a new beginning. The singer says that this is my new beginning of my joy. And this is where the bad that it was taken away from my body. So come and then Jesus will take away that pot and will make you a very, give you a life burden. Come and then Jesus will make you enjoy the rest whereby we are given a crown which is perish imperishable. If you're not yet saved, come. If you're saved as well, lay off the weight and any sin that is clinging on you. The program of God is continuing. Amen. Amen. You're not yet served. We are waiting. As we are praying for the others, you may remind and remain behind and come and meet Jesus. This is the not an occasional opportunity. This is an opportunity which comes once. Come, you are in the ambush of Jesus. Yes. Jesus, he has been waiting for you on the well of Jacob. On the well of determination. On the well. Come, lady of Samaria. Come, come. Come, come. Come, daughter of Samaria. That Jesus may bring you to rest. That he may break that pot. Come and meet Jesus. That your life may change. This is the beginning of my joy. Hallelujah. This is where the weight and burden was taken off my body. Come and meet Jesus. Your life will start again. Come and meet Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I Dashima, Dashimu, Fusara, oh, yes, so Dashima, Yamba, Tisa, Hariko, Hariko, Chale, Chale, Dashima, Uma, yes, we can send you a bandy. Let us pray for the Father others. Father God, we thank you for your servants in this service. Do good to them. Let the Spirit of God find them. And let him make vomit to see the enemy has made them to eat. And also lead them in the way to lay off their weight. And then lead them into this journey of also laying off their weight. And do good to them. Let them go home with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, those who are not yet saved, are still waiting. go home with God, others. We shall meet here again on Tuesday.
You're not yet saved. Do not come back yes. home. Come and meet Jesus. We know that yes. Come and meet Jesus. Why yes? Repeat after me. Even those following us online, you may repeat after these words that you may receive the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You say, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word and it has achieved my heart and so I'm defeated. I've come to surrender to you and to follow you. I allow to become your own child and also to become your own daughter and son change my past my name take it away from the book of death and then write it in the book of life give me a new life because of your goodness. Give me a new, a new beginning because of your mercy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, support your children in this new journey they started. Support them and strengthen them. Take them out of sin. Take them out of weakness. Let this be a new beginning of their joy. And let this turn into where they take the burden is taken off from them and give them a new beginning a new lifestyle in Jesus Christ Lord Amen 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 Amen